So I'm making pizza and in part one, I talked about the equipment and tools I use and how I prepare the wood oven. Following that in part two, I showed you the pizza dough that I like to make. Now we're in part three and I'm gonna show you how I set up my pizza station that includes all the ingredients and toppings that are popular with my family and friends. Then finally in part four, once I have everything set up, I'm gonna make some pizzas. So let me show you how I set up my pizza station. As I mentioned in the dough episode, I'm making 10 pizzas and making pizzas should be fun. So it helps if you carefully plan what toppings you're going to use. So all those ingredients are conveniently ready. So first, there are the things I'm gonna use every time I make a pizza, regardless of the topping. I've got my proofing tray with my dough inside and my dough scraper. I've got my work surface that I'm gonna to use to shape my pizzas and the flour I'm gonna use while shaping it. And I've got my pizza peel. Next, you're gonna need something to dust your peel with so that your pizza will slide off easily when you put it in the oven. If you have to use too many jerking motions to get your pizza off the peel, you might misshape the pizza and then some of your ingredients might move around. Personally, I like to use semolina flour but you can also use the same flour that you use for shaping your pizzas. So the first ingredient I have that'll be the base for many pizzas is my tomato sauce. And I made it from canned whole San Marzano tomatoes that I gently cooked down with a little bit of olive oil, some garlic, basil, some dried oregano, and some salt and fresh black pepper. And then when it's ready, I run it through a food mill. So these are the pizzas I'm going to make. First, you've got to make one or two margaritas. And for that, I have my fresh tomato sauce. I've got some mozzarella cheese, some olive oil, and I have some fresh basil. And the basil, I prefer to put that on when I take the pizza out of the oven rather than putting it on before. Next, I have the pancetta and dill pizza. That's a very popular one here. And for that, I have the Fontina cheese, I have the pancetta, a little bit of olive oil, and then when it comes out of the oven, I'll dress it with a little bit of dill. And then I have the mushroom pizza, especially for you. And for that, I'm gonna use some Fontina cheese. And I've got my medley of mushrooms, including some chanterelle, I've got some morels, some button mushrooms, and I roasted them all in the oven just for a few minutes. And then to that, I'll add some sage and some dried oregano. For the sausage pizza, I have this really fantastic thyme fennel sausage from McCall's Meat and Fish that I partially cooked for about eight minutes. So it releases some of the fat and because the short amount of time it takes for the pizza to cook won't be enough to finish the sausage if I put it on raw. And I'm gonna make this with some wit burrata, then top that with some finely sliced fennel, shallots, and leeks. And then I'll sprinkle over some fennel thyme spice blend, and that's also from McCall's. Then I'm gonna make a pepperoni pizza. And for that, I'm gonna use my tomato sauce, use some grated mozzarella cheese, and then from my local Italian deli, I got some nice pepperoni sausage. I'm gonna make a potato rosemary pizza, and for that I have some potatoes that I'll thinly slice over the pizza. I'm gonna use some pecorino cheese and then sprinkle that with some chopped rosemary. Then I'm gonna make an anchovy pizza because who doesn't like anchovies? And for that I'm gonna use grated mozzarella cheese and some sauteed onions. Then I've got my anchovies, and then to that I'm gonna add some fresh thyme, some capers, and some olives. Then I'm gonna make a pizza pomodoro. So for that I have my tomato sauce, I have some mozzarella, and this selection of roasted tomatoes, and some garlic that I poached in olive oil. And then when it comes out of the oven, I'll grate over a little Parmesan cheese and add some fresh basil. So I'm gonna make a prosciutto and arugula pizza. And for that I'm gonna use my tomato sauce and some mozzarella cheese. And then once the pizza comes out of the oven, I'll dress it with the arugula and slices of prosciutto. So I like to make a herb pizza. 
And for that, I'm gonna use some Fontina cheese, some dried oregano, and some sage leaves. And then when it comes out of the oven, I'll add to that some fresh thyme, some fresh basil, some cilantro, some parsley, maybe a little bit of tarragon, and some dill. Then I have my cheese graters, and some red pepper, and some chili peppers, freshly ground black pepper, and sea salt, and some extra virgin olive oil. And then I have my pizza trays and my pizza cutters ready for when the pizzas come out of the oven. And then lastly, and I think it's very, very important that you stay hydrated while you're making pizza. So I have a nice bottle of Barbaresco here. So that's how I set up my pizza station, but with all the toppings and ingredients that are popular with my family and friends and the special pizzas I make for you. And now that everything's finally ready, next in part four, I'm gonna make some pizzas. How about that? Finally. Yeah, finally. Just gonna get into character. There. Now I'm the wood-fired oven chef. You didn't, you can't even really tell, can you, that it's a different person.